Okay, you guys, so I know this probably looks a little bit familiar. You notice here that I basically have some potatoes and what I've done is I've cubed them into about inch, inch by inch or so, wedges or whatnot. And all I have is that I have drizzled olive oil, crushed or minced garlic. You can do whole cloves if you want. Um, you can also do or add red or purple onion to this and basically what the recipe is going to be and I'm sorry it's not exactly step by step but I just realized you guys probably would enjoy seeing this is um, toss your olive oil your potatoes your garlic and then I'm going to add rosemary these are just your standard you know kind of Idaho potatoes or whatever from the regular grocery store this recipe is a lot better if you do use or have red potatoes if you want organic go for that i mean it grows from the ground so it's probably best if you go organic but i'm going to sprinkle my rosemary my salt and my pepper and i'm going to place this in the oven at 450 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes i'll bring it out to you and i'll show you what you should have at the end so this is what i'm going to have before i put it in the oven uh, once again 45 minutes at Eh, 450 400 depending on you know the altitude or wherever you guys are so the one thing that I like about this you see that I have the purple onion in here um, for aromatics you can add other vegetables to your liking they may cook a lot quicker or faster you can always remove them in mid cook you know while you're cooking it you know you can do carrots you can put this um out when you're having a you know a dinner party for kind of munchy appetizer type of thing you can have this as a side to some of your meals for any of you vegetarians i'll probably bless you you can probably add this um you know as a main part of a meal i don't really know exactly what i'm going to do with this i don't know if i'm going to make this as a side I'm thinking about topping this with, I don't know, something really, really yummy and just having it by itself for me. Um, and also another idea, if you want to go extra healthy, um, you know, kind of steering away from the white starches, you can always do this. Side note, you can do this with sweet potato and it'll give you a really sweet and savory um, flavor so I'll show you guys once it's completely done and hopefully you guys enjoy this recipe okay so this is what you guys should have as your finished roasted potatoes forgive me I do not have my tripod so if you guys are getting dizzy my bad anyway so this is really really good as I said have it as a side um, you can definitely have this with any of your meat or fish dishes you can serve this up as kind of a starter for your parties. Um, you can even use this. I was thinking you can have it in the morning. Um, you know, save your leftovers. Use the potatoes in the morning. Have it with some eggs. Yum, yum, yum. You could even, I was telling uh, my fiance, for your men out there, you could even do kind of a twist on a baked potato. Ta uh, you know, make yourself some bacon or some bacon bits use your sour cream some cheese some chives just giving you guys some really really good ideas but this is definitely a healthy um side that you guys can make at home super easy any of you college students out there who have access to an oven definitely something you can do because potatoes are dirt cheap so hopefully you guys enjoy this recipe this video was sponsored by fashionwithfifi.com and the devour.com be sure to rate this video and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and keep it real until next time bye